Hello and welcome to FSM News on the Road. I'm Melanie Johnson. And I'm Sterling Hill. We're on the road this summer and we'll be broadcasting you from many different locations. So far, we visited some pretty cool places, including the Texas Chicago and Navy Pier. This week, we are at the Columbia College High School Basketball Tournament, where four teams will face off, hosted here at Collins High School. Gilsell versus Simeon, Crane versus Farragut face off. We'll let you know the results later, so stay tuned to FSM News. FSM News on the road. Utah brings sports entertainment to all of its viewers by covering rivalry high school basketball games. The coverage of this game is brought to you live via a partnership Hoops High has with Columbia College of Chicago. Just took a look at their live production truck behind us. Our FSM reporters went out to get a behind the scenes look at Hoops High and the process they go through to cover a game. Take a look. I'm live at Collins High School with the Columbia Classic. Right now, Dee LaSalle and Simeon are playing, and I can't help it for Dee LaSalle and I'm a recent graduate. Hoops High and Columbia College work hand in hand when it comes to filming this tournament. They have a great partnership. Take a look. Hoops High students get a jump start in their future careers through their partnership with Columbia College. Frequency TV, which is the Columbia College TV station, we've partnered uh, with Hoops High to kind of do a, a mentorship. One of the main benefits of this partnership is that Hoops High students get to take advantage of Columbia's state-of-the-art live truck. A lot of them get to work with setup for the truck. They run all the cables, they, do, they run the cameras and that kind of stuff. Hoops High students gain experience that is very hard to come by. Uh, I think it's a very valuable experience. I mean, many college students don't even have an HD truck to work with, let alone high school students. And so this is really an opportunity where they can, they can learn and they can try and, and squeeze every little bit of information out that they can. Columbia College provides these students with an opportunity that most teams don't have. Producer or other times I'd be the sideline interview. I mean, it's different. It's cool. I think I like it very much. And I think I basically I'm going to do this program until I graduate. These future journalists get the upper hand on their way to college. Students can even earn college credit through their involvement. I think I have a better advantages as to, like, you know, the classes I might take and, you know, the things I might learn in their classes. So I might have great experience with camera or speaking in front of a camera. Hoops High is a great way to see all angles of sports broadcasting and feel like a major part of sports in the community. You can check out the weekly broadcast made here in this studio every Saturday night at 8 p.m. on KN TV. Reporting live for FSM News, I'm Keith Reed Cleveland. Back to you, Sterling and Melanie. Thanks for that information. Coming up after this short break, we'll take a look at some of the career choices that some of the players may want to take. Don't touch that remote. FSM News on the road. We'll be right back. With every team, there are a set of star players, a group of people that make the team special. Our episode reporters went out to interview Hoops High. Short players. Players. This is Here's Shamisia Davidson for on this story. I'm live at Collins High School where Simeon will be taking on De La Salle on court in the game of basketball. As you can see, the audience is very excited and entertained, but there is one particular player that stood out. Here's the story. De La Salle's recognizable player, Mike Shaw, says he's no slacker, and he doesn't expect that in his teammates either. He believes in being the best. You gotta work hard every day. You can't, you can't, you know, be satisfied. You, you gotta keep working hard every day to separate yourself from everybody else. Mike Shaw was ranked as one of the country's top juniors, but like always, there are some people that strongly disagree. Some would say that Shaw is an underachiever and that he doesn't play with his back to the basket enough. Mike hears the criticism, but he just pays no mind to it. He just loves the game of basketball. Many teams who have always dreamed of getting a basketball scholarship to go to college, possibly making it to the NBA. However, these chances are once in a lifetime. Simeon's sophomore to be, Jabari Parker, a 6'6", 200-pound guard, forward, and center, was the first freshman ever to start for Simeon. 
Parker's chances of making it pro is very high so far, but he is focusing on other important things. I'm trying to focus on my education, you know, try to get a college degree, and uh, one day if I'm not successful in basketball, I can uh, get a better job. Even though they know the chances of going pro are slim, some other players are also putting in hard work. It's not a very high chance, but I'm going to try hard. Many teams may think that basketball is just knowing how to shoot a ball. But it is much more than that. It can be an intense sport. With teams making basketball a top priority in their lives, we hope that if this doesn't work out for these teams, that they'll have something else to fall back on. I'm Shamisia Davis, live at Collins High School. Back to you. Thank you, Shamisia, for that story. That was very insightful. We have to take a short break, but when we come back, we have some teen and fan spirits to talk to you about team talk. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Every high school basketball team here today at Collins High School has so much fan support. In this week's Team Talk, Raven White and Sierra Newman will show you how much these teams are recognized by their fans. Today, Simeon vs. De La Salle is first to play. Today, we interview fans to see who is the crowd's favorite. Take a look to see who won in the fans' opinion. De La Salle. Simeon. De La Salle. They have a lot of potential. Simeon. They're really competitive. They know what they're doing when they're on the court. They have a lot of teamwork. Well, today I'm rooting for De La Salle. So De La Salle was the crowd's favorite. Simeon ended up winning the game. So, report the fast that's some news. I'm Sierra Newman. And I'm Raven White. Back to you. Simeon won game one of the Columbia Classic. For more information, visit Free Spirit Media's Facebook page. Well, like all well, hold up, hold up, hold up. After all this good basketball we have seen being played, we just going to end the show. We're not going to end the show this week. You're going to be watching this show till next week. All right? All right, don't cut off the cap. No, I'll just play it. <laughs> FSM News on the road. We'll be back next week. All Peace. right, see you. Free Spirit Media partners with schools and organizations to provide education, access, and opportunity in media production to underserved urban youth. Through hands-on production of their own media content, participants build life skills in communication, critical and independent thinking, teamwork, and the use of technology. Believing that youth perspectives are a critical element of American culture, Free Spirit Media actively distributes student work to a range of audiences. Participants' dreams and aspirations grow, and in turn, their voices and visions benefit our society. Every year, the South Shore Drill Team takes part in the Bud Billiken Parade. We're at the harvest table, which is, we're live at the harvest table. Making basketball a top priority in their lives. We just hope that if they don't. I'm live at Collins High School where Simeon will be taking on De La Salle on course in the game of basketball. As you can see, the audience is very excited. <laughs> see, see you yeah. next week.